An Uber passenger dies following a crash in San Francisco. I'll tell you what happened. Plus, the new COVID rules taking effect Tuesday in Oakland. That and more news coming up. This is such a sad story. An Uber passenger was killed in a hit and run in San Francisco on Saturday. Police say the crash happened around 7.30 p.m. in the Outer Sunset neighborhood. According to officials, the suspect, who was driving a stolen SUV, made a left turn on a cross street, hit the Uber, and then fled the scene. The Uber driver had minor injuries. The passenger, though, died later at the hospital. The victim was 38-year-old Barry McGrath, a San Francisco resident. NBC Bay Area spoke to one of his friends who says McGrath was part of a hurling club and helped create a network for the Irish community in San Francisco, says he was always looking out for others. Everyone's really in shock of you know how suddenly this all happened and, and it's kind of hard to get the head around it really. Above everything, he was really a friend and he would always look out for people. SFPD has put out this description of the suspect. Anyone with info can contact the department's tip line. Quick reminder for Oakland residents and visitors, starting this Tuesday, you will now be required to present proof of vaccination alongside an ID at these indoor businesses in the city. People who are medically exempt will have to show proof of their exemption, plus a negative COVID test result to go inside. Important note, though, those who need to go inside these businesses for a short period of time, like to pick up a to-go order or use the restroom, will not be required to present their vaccine record. Okay, gear up for some possible gusty winds this week. Here's meteorologist Carrie Hall with your forecast. Well, hopefully your week is off to a great start. We are going to see more of the same temperatures we've seen recently. Highs in the upper 50s, low 60s, and some more chilly mornings. And what we're seeing that's going to be different this week, high winds. We're looking at winds that may really start to gust going into Tuesday night into Wednesday and continuing into early on Thursday before we get a break from some gusty winds that could reach up to 60 miles per hour. This could bring down some trees branches cause power outages as well as increase our fire danger because of the lack of rainfall we've seen throughout the month of January. We're keeping an eye on that. You can always get the latest forecast on NBCBayArea.com as well as right here on social media. You can also download our app to get weather alerts from around your area in real time. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.